Hello and welcome back audience, my name is Massive Brad and welcome back to my FIFA 19 Love 4 career mode. Now before we get into today's episode, I just want to say a huge big thank you for the love and support on the channel. And as always guys, at the start of these episodes, we're quickly going to recap on the previous. And the previous episode was an absolute banger. The first game of course was against Spurs at Anfield. We dominated them, we only beat them 1-0, but the best thing to come out of that game was we were crowned Premier League champions the celebrations went off the fireworks we went out for a meal we had drinks we all celebrated and it was an absolutely incredible day and of course we got to lift the premier league trophy for the very first time and then in the second game of the previous episode we faced off against ryan sessignol's former club and that of course is full and we dominated them absolutely smashed them and beat them 4-0 as well as ryan sessignol scoring the fourth goal against his former club and we're back here today to face off in another two big games we've got south Hampton in the Premier League, so we're over three points up for grabs. And then the second game in today's episode is going to be the first leg in the quarterfinals of the Champions League against Schalke. Now, I'm quickly going to say it, guys, you won't be expecting this. And the third game in today's episode is going to be the second leg in the Champions League quarterfinals against Schalke. There's actually going to be three games in today's episode. Now, I did mention in the comment section of the previous episode, guys, would you mind if I do three games all up? cut down into highlights per episode because I'm trying so hard. Right now, it is the 29th of November, Thursday. This video you're watching right now will be going up tonight. I've actually come home, I'm on my lunch break, and I'm recording this episode. The grind does not stop. I'm sat here now, eating my apple bag, and I'm recording because I didn't get to record last night, sadly. So I'm recording today, then I'm going to edit it, and then I'm going to get it uploaded tonight. Then tomorrow's episode, Friday, will include Cardiff, Chelsea in the semi-finals of the FA Cup, and then Chelsea also in the Premier League. Then Saturday and Sunday right now, looks like it could be that game, or those three games, should I say, but I should have had my apple here, I shouldn't keep talking. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to get it all to finish this weekend, guys, so I may sadly have to push it back a little bit, but I'm going to do everything I possibly can to make sure this video gets to you on time, and hopefully if we can't finish or start, should I say, season two on Monday, we'll look at starting it on Tuesday, possibly even Wednesday, but don't worry, because the trailer for the brand new series will still be coming out this Saturday or this Sunday. And that is enough talking now. I've got to stop eating my apple bag. We've got to get down to business. So obviously we won the Premier League in the previous episode. We're on 87 points. I'm going to attempt to get to 100 points. Three figures in 100 points plus. And the squad I am putting out against Southampton has got to be a little bit sadly of a rotated one. Because the team coming off the back end of Fulham were absolutely drained when it comes to their energy. So we've got Ryan Sessegnon on that left wing, Angel Correa striker, Shaqiri on that right wing, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain and Lallana in the centre of midfield. A new person's name that you may well have never seen, it is Virtue Thick. He is playing a central defensive midfielder. The reason for that, Fabinho isn't fully fit, and obviously Henderson in the previous episode picked up a five-month injury, so he's out for the season. So I'm going to play this young lad. He's only overall 60, but he does play CDM, so we'll see how he gets on. Then we've got Tierney, Gomez, Lovren and Alves at the back, with, of course, Alisson in net. We're just going to go ahead and jump into this game, guys. Another three points up for grabs. The other two games in today's episode after this one is going to be the the first and the second leg against Schalke in the Champions League quarterfinals. I'm excited for it. We're progressing nicely. And let's just go ahead and travel to the St. Mary's Stadium and hopefully bag those three points. Here we go. St. Mary's Stadium. We came, we saw, and we've come to conquer. I am looking forward to this game. I mean, you've got to remember, we just annihilated Fulham 4-0 and that was off the back end of being declared champions of the Premier League. Our last game was 4-0. I'd like the same kind of thing against Southampton. We've got a goal difference there at 54. Look at the rest of the league. Next is Manchester United with 20. We have scored 30 more goals than Manchester United. We have dominated this season. And that's why I quickly want to mention a lot of people are saying, Brad, in season two, are you going to put the difficulty up? Yes, I am, guys. At the start of this series, I've done a straw poll asking you guys, should I do world class? Should I do legendary? You guys said, Brad, you're not too great at defending right now. It's a new system. You may have to take a little bit of time and get used to it. I did. I feel a lot more confident now, so I'm not even going to do a straw poll for the second series, or second season, should I say. I'm just going to go ahead and just put it on legendary from the start. But let's go ahead and get into this first half against Southampton, and hopefully back to three points. Ball coming through the middle. Shot off. allison has got that covered. Lamina was flying forwards there. Lallana is in plenty of space. The booze to Lallana. You've got to remember, he's an ex-Southampton player. Correa to get his shot off. There we go. From one end of the pitch 
to the other. Five minutes in, and Angel Correa, normally the super sub, but he's starting a lot of games right now. He's got himself to an 81 rated. He's getting ahead of Sturridge right now, and that is the reason why. Lallana with a beautiful pass through. Correa kept going, takes it on his left foot. Betty's in the top right corner. Keeper has no chance, and we are 1 0 up against Southampton after just five minutes. Come on, Lovren, I don't really want you this far out, but if you're going to get to the ball, happy days. Lallana intercepts. Play that ball around the corner. This isn't good, lads. This isn't good. Big save there from Allison. Let's see if we can get a counter attack going. Ball kicked out from the back. Virtue Thick picks it up. Correa still on the ball. Nice little touch there from Correa. He gets taken out. Not sure why we didn't get a free kick there. But Lovren comes away with it. Plays it through to Virtue Thick. And the referee has blown for half time at St Mary's Stadium. Just also want to mention, guys, completely forgot. In the last episode, I said that FIFA felt a little bit different. I actually found out after that, when I looked online, that there was actually an update. Now, I've done the update, but I usually think, oh, it's for Ultima Team, because realistically, that's all EA care about. But it was actually also for Karima. It was actually in-game, and it's to do with, like, interceptions on the ball, deflections, tackles, stuff like that. So the game does feel a little bit different. It feels a little bit smoother. But as for passing and tackling, it does feel a little bit different. So it's hit me a couple of games to get used to it. But let's go ahead and get into the second half, and hopefully... Get another goal under our belt. Let's play that through looking for Cessnio. Cessnio rounds a Correa to clear the way from Vestergaard. Into Virtue Thick. Round the corner to Alatoxay Chamber. Looking to Ben one Big save there from McCarthy. Into Correa. Correa to get round his man. Still Correa. Still Correa. Looking to play it in. Shakiri now. Shakiri on that left foot. Looks to Ben one And it's in the back of the net. I was hesitant a little bit then because I thought he might have been offside. I seen two of the Southampton players put their hand up for offside. But luckily enough, Correa must have played it just at the right time. When he come back on side, you can see there two players putting their hands up. But Shakiri was actually on side, and he buries a second to put us 2 0 up against Southampton. We are absolutely dominating, guys. And this is why I've said that the difficulty will be going up in season two. You don't need to keep telling me. Do not worry. I'm feeling comfortable. I need a little bit of a challenge now. We've dominated the Premier League this year. Next year will be a whole different story. Keep going, Sunder coming forwards. Let's get a foot in here. Shot off. Allison with a huge save. Keep the pressure on the coming forwards. Let's make sure we mark everyone up. And look at this. They're coming forwards now. It's side footed over to Gabby Adini. Who slots one past Allison. Nice little bit of a counter attack there from Southampton. Not much we could have done. It was two on one. One of our defenders was out of position. I think it may well have been Gomez. Lovren was set between two of them. Swerved it across the face of goal. The yeah, Gomez comes for it. In fact, it's not. It's Tierney that's left at the back. Gomez and Lovren both out of position. Davis plays it across to Gabby Adini, who side foots it. Beautiful finesse shot pass Allison. We go again, and we maybe look for another goal. And look at this. We've got Nabikita pushing forwards. Plays in Shakiri. Shakiri. Dance your man. Shakiri onto his left foot. And that is not the shot we were looking for. Sturridge to Lallana, Lallana to cut round this man, this is nice football right now, Lallana again, looking at thinking a ball in, Naby is there, big header from Naby Keita, but straight into the hands of McCarthy, Lallana into Sturridge, Sturridge going around the corner now, looking for Shakiri. and I tell you what, Sturridge has put a beautiful ball in, I'm going to look at side front and over to Sturridge, over to Sessegno, oh and Sessegno when he could have put the last nail in the coffin, has floored that over the bar and into Rosette. Oh, I'm absolutely gutted there. Cessna could have made that 3-1, but nevertheless, I said at the start, we've came and we saw, we've conquered, and we did just that. It was only a 2-1. We did suffer a goal, which means we don't get to keep a clean sheet, but the lads played very, very well indeed. Angel Correa and Shakiri getting themselves on the score sheet. 12 shots, 5 on target. I'm happy with how the lads played. It's another three points. We're getting close to that 100 we just got to keep going now. Right, guys, and here we are, back at the Central, ready to face off against Schalke in the Champions League. It is officially the quarterfinals, and today's episode, guys, is going to include both legs. Now, I mentioned at the start there was going to be three games in today's episode. We've just faced Southampton and beat them 2-1. We've now got the Schalke game away in the quarterfinals, and then we've got the Schalke game at home. So I'm looking to play this one and then that one. I recorded on my lunch the grind reel, Unfortunately, I couldn't get the whole episode done, 
So I'm now finished home from work. I've still got to record the rest of this. I'm going to edit it and you guys are going to watch it tonight on the 29th. I've just recorded this like two or three hours ago. I've still got to edit it as well. So the more I record, the more I've got to edit, the later this video is going to be up. Now I can tell you now guys, it's not going to be up at 7pm on the 29th. I do apologize for that, but I will make sure that tomorrow the next episode is back up at 7pm. But we just got to go ahead, get into the Shulker game. I don't want to rush it because when you rush things, that's when it normally starts going wrong. But I've just got to see what we can do in this first leg. Then we can possibly look at simulating the second leg against Schalke. But this is the lineup I'm putting out. And it should score a few decent goals as well as keep a clean sheet. Because we've got Marnie on that left wing. Roberto Firmino at striker. Salah on that right wing. Gino Wijnaldum and Naby Keita in the central midfield. Fabinho in the central defensive midfield. Robertson, Van Dijk, Jimenez and Trent at the back. With, of course, Alisson in net. I'm just ready to go here, guys. I know if I waste too much time, I talk too long, you guys are not going to get this episode tonight. And I want to get this episode out. So we need to get into this game. We need to dominate against Schalke. Hopefully score a decent amount of goals. Hoping for three or four goals. And then we can possibly look at simulating the next leg. If not, we'll have to play it. And you guys will have an absolutely unbelievable episode with three incredible games in it. And this may be happening right the way till the end of Season 1, guys. But let's go ahead and get into this game in Schalke. And hopefully... Get a decent lead. This is it now. No messing around. We're back in the Champions League. We're through to the quarterfinals. We're facing off against Schalke. Liverpool just played PSG last night. And I have to say, I watched it myself. And it was an absolutely shocking game. Absolutely shocking. I mean, the midfield was just lost. We had no midfield whatsoever. I think PSG spent more time on the ground than actually up on their feet. Neymar... Oh, I just was screaming at the TV. He's a little bit of a baby, constantly on the floor. But let's not talk about what happened last night, and let's talk about what's happening right now, and we are on the break. But let's go ahead and get into this first half and see what damage we can do. We've got Mane coming forwards now. Ball into the middle. Bobby's there. Big strike. And we're already on the attack. Come on, Salah. Cut that back. Nice ball in now. Looking for Fabinho to clear the way. We've got to be careful here because I don't want to tire the lads too much. And right now, we're pushing forwards, which is great. But we're also putting a lot of pressure on the Liverpool lads. Another shot from Gini, which now them to Bobby. We've got Salah over the far side there. And Salah could potentially, with a beautiful touch, be in behind here. Come on, Salah. Keep going, son. Dance your man. Play it into the middle. Here's Bobby. Naby Keita takes a touch. Looks at getting the shot off. Mane round to Bobby. Bobby playing it over to Fabinho, who's in a little bit of space. I'm going to look at that one go with Fabinho. Another big save from the Schalke keeper. This is ridiculous right now. Salah into Gini Wijnaldum, and we don't even get a chance to have another attack on Schalke. The referee is blown for half time. We're going in nil-nil. We've definitely been the better team. I mean, I've got to... I don't usually do this. I've got to see the match facts because we've been all over them. Six shots, three on target. They've had one shot. It wasn't even on target. Going to jump back into the second half exactly the same team. We've just got to stay patient, I think, guys. We're having plenty of shots. I'm sure it's not long before this goal comes, but I'm hoping we're not going to be waiting a long time. And here comes Naby Keita. Looking at playing Salah in now. Salah's got him behind. Let's cut this back. Salah's put a ball into the middle. Naby Keita. Marnie goes for the overhead kick. And it's well over the bar. Salah pushing forwards now. We've got Naby Keita wanting to push in here. A few red men in the middle. Let's put a nice ball in now. Gini Wijnaldum's there. He goes for the overhead kick. I don't know why he's gone for the overhead kick from there. Into Bobby. Bobby's got a little bit of space here. Gonna let one fly with Bobby. Big save. Marnie to get to it. And it's cleared away from Schalke again. Ball in. Gino is now done there. Van Dijk's there. And finally. Finally we have been knocking so many times. But in the 61st minute we knock for the final time. And put one past the Schalke defenders as well as the keeper. It took us 62 minutes of battering and banging on the door of Schalke. To finally put one in the back of the net. And it's the captain of today's game. Virgil van Dijk to put one past him with the 62nd minute. You've got to remember guys. We've got to play a second leg here. We've got to make some changes. I'm going to take Gini Wijnaldum off for... Let's go for the Ox. I'm going to take Mane off for Sessegno. And right now I'm going to keep it how it is. But I'm going to look at either taking Bobby or Naby Keita off in probably the next 10-15 minutes. But they are the substitutes I'm making so far. Virgil, I would love you so much if you can get your head on this. Virgil climbs... And it's cleared away. It's cleared away. Naby Keita, I'm going to hit this with Naby. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. How has Naby Keita hit the crossbar from there? That is disgusting. It's into Salah instead. Playing that ball through now. Surely Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. He's hit the post. 
Sturridge over to Cessna looking to play it into Alex Oxley chamberlain looks to hit one he's taken out there's no penalty and we're just going to make sure they don't break out and they don't and I'm a little bit gutted about that guys we had so many chances I said if we beat them 2 or 3 nil, we will potentially simulate the next game the second leg against Schalke we only beat them one nil. look at the stats 17 shots 8 on target they didn't even have a shot on target and now this is the worry do I risk simulating it if Schalke beat us 2 or 3-1 they're going to go through and we're not we're in the knockout stages now we're seriously going to have to think about this and make a big big decision right guys and here we are back at the central it feels weird to not be saying back at the central for the final time because we've already played two games in today's episode but we've actually got a third and that is Schalke traveling to Anfield traveling to Liverpool to face off against us in the quarterfinals of the Champions League we've just beat them away 1-0 this is just going to be massive and I hate to say it guys but because of the time because of the situation of how late it is into the night and I'm still going to edit this video I actually decided the coin was going to make the choice Heads was to simulate, tails was to play the game. And although you can't see it, I'm being honest, it did come up heads, which means we are going to simulate the Schalke game. And I'm absolutely gutted over this, guys, because if we simulate this and get knocked out, I will be sick. I'm just hoping it's not going to come back and shoot me in the back the fact we're going to simulate this game. I'm be, I'll be absolutely gutted, guys, if we get knocked out of the Champions League now. We've done so well. I honestly will be gutted. I do apologise to you guys, but you want a video, you want it to be enjoyable, and for me to be able to do that, it means that I've had to flip a coin. I have to simulate this game. It's hard luck if we do get knocked out, but I am playing one of the strongest teams I possibly can. In fact, it's the same lineup we just put out against them for the first leg. And then is Mane at left wing, Roberto Firmino at striker, Seller at right wing, Gini Wijnaldum and Naby Keita in the central midfield roles, Fabinho in the central defensive midfield, Robertson at Van Dijk, Jimenez and Trent at the back with Allison in goal. Now, I was quite amazed because I think it was only six days from when we previously played them. I didn't think the likes of Naby Keita would be fully fit. Seller's not fully fit, you can see his ball's not fully green, but I didn't want to simulate any games. And I'll be absolutely gutted if we simulate this game and we lose, but there's not much... I can do guys, I flipped the coin, the coin is spoken, we have to simulate it, Liverpool versus Schalke, in the second leg, we're 1-0 up on aggregate, please, please let us win, let's go ahead, oh I just don't want to click A, I really don't want to advance, but I've got to bite the bullet, we've got to do it, click A, let's advance, here we go, players warming up, oh, and we've kicked off, and after four minutes, they've scored, two minutes later, Naby Keita scores, oh this is a massive risk, they scored after just four minutes, Naby Keita has scored the second. Salah scores in the 33rd. We're 2-1 up. We need a third. We need a third goal. Half-time's been and gone. 55 minutes in. Cessnyol's come on for Robertson. Why are we playing Cessnyol? Mane scored a third in the 64th. Come on, let's push for a fourth. Just let us be clean home. Please. Please. We're not going to get the fourth, guys. But the final whistle blows in the 90th minute. We've beat Schalke 3-1. Which basically means we beat them 4-1. I'll tell you what, guys. My heart dropped after four minutes. When Bergstahler scored in the fourth minute, I'm so glad that Naby Keita scored two minutes later. That could have been a whole different game. I was worried that Cessna will come on for Robertson. That means we've actually played them at left back. We go on to beat Schalke in the second leg, 3-1. We beat them in the first leg, 1-0, which means we are going to progress through to the semi-finals of the Champions League. Now, you guys might be thinking, Brad, you said you're going to play three games in every episode leading up to the end of this series. Are you going to constantly simulate no guys unfortunately yesterday the Liverpool game was on and then before the Liverpool game I wasn't physically able to record so that is why I've had to record today and upload it's very difficult to record a video edit it and upload it all in the same exact day now guys I'm not really sure whether it will have been announced who we are playing see all these games have been moved it's just crazy it has not been announced who we are playing in the semi-finals of the Champions League. But this is how it stands right now. Unless games get moved around. Episode 32. The next episode will be Cardiff City. Full play of 90 minutes cut down into highlights. Chelsea in the semi-finals of the FA Cup. Full 90 minutes cut down into highlights. And then again Chelsea at home in the Premier League. Full 90 minutes cut down into highlights. So I'm thinking guys we should have ended this season by episode 34. If not 35 at the latest so if we run through it we've got episode 32 is going to be cardiff chelsea and chelsea again episode 32 is going to be newcastle 
Huddersfield and also Wolves. And then possibly episode 34, depending on when they slot it in, is going to be, we're going to have to play the semi-finals of the Champions League and we're also going to have to play the final of the FA Cup. Now, realistically, it's Thursday today. This video is going to have gone up on Thursday. I've got tomorrow's episode going up on Friday. I'll then have another episode going up on Sunday. But right now, guys, it didn't give me much of a chance when I said I was going to upload the first episode of season two on the Monday. I'm not giving myself much chance here, so it may well come on the Tuesday. But do not worry, the trailer will drop this weekend. We may have to play another Liverpool career mode on Monday, and then we can start the new series. Or oh, sorry, we can upload season two, episode one on the Tuesday, and then we can start the new series maybe on the Wednesday. But do not worry, the trailer will be coming this weekend. And we will definitely be starting that brand new series. Plus, the trailer's coming out. There's going to be a lot of straw polls. You guys have got to vote. You've got to get involved. So I need to leave it a couple of days so I can see what who's voting for what, what we need to do, what needs to happen, blah, 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 what series name or what the name of the series is going to be, and so on and so on. But is this series even FIFA? Is it career mode? Is it ultimate team? Is it even on Xbox? Is it even a new series or am I just throwing jokes out there and you guys are all going to be wound up because there's no brand new series? Who says it's not a joke? You'll have to wait and see. But that is going to do it for today's episode, guys. I hope, I really do hope that this is up on the 29th of November. And if it is, I have literally recorded at lunch, recorded after work, edited after work, and also uploaded it. The grind is real, guys. And just because I have done so much today if you could smash that thumbs up it would be much appreciated because i have gone to town and grinded on this episode but if you have enjoyed today's episode guys please do give it a big thumbs up for me don't forget to drop your comments down below if you're new around here click that subscribe button don't forget to share this video with friends and family and i've been massive brad peace out